Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> um, today I'm taking a look at the new LXLE. It's the 14.04.4 beta. Now, I have it installed. I did a lot of tweaking to it. You can tell it's the LXLE by the conky in the top right corner. Uh, I'm going to uh, take a look at the uh, distro watch page so that we can uh, go through the release announcement. <clears throat> now, I've used LXLE before and <clears throat> it's a very nice Ubuntu based distribution. Now this is the beta so uh, there might be some uh, bugs in it so be aware uh, if you do install it. Uh, one of the things that I liked about the uh, LXLE install, if you take a look at preferences and uh, customize look and feel, well actually if you go down to open box configuration manager you'll see that there are a lot of options for your uh, desktop. <clears throat> Now, I, right now I have the Mikachu, which I really like, but there's all kinds of options. And if you open up a file browser or a file manager, <clears throat> you'll see what I mean. Now, let's shrink this down a little bit so we can see both of the open windows. Now you can see as I switch the the borders on the on the uh, file uh, manager change, and there is a difference between the active and the unactive. So for Onyx, you've got a dark, and it's it's pretty much illustrated for you in the description. You can see the different inactive and active and what the selected color will look like. So if you look at LX Wine Pitch Dark, um, if I fully enabled it, you would get the red on the selection, but I've still got the Mikachu and it wouldn't take effect until unless I enabled it fully. So you've got so many different options here, as you can see, lots of light themes, lots of dark themes, very, very nice. Uh, I like the way they have the uh, open box configuration manager set up. Now, let's see, I'll go back to what I had before. Okay. And so now for appearance, uh, this is just for the configuration of the window. <clears throat> Move and resize, mouse, desktops. I have it set to only one desktop right now. Margins and the dock. Now I'm not using the dock. It comes with a panel on the left, uh, just a, a plain panel, a second panel is set up on the left. I replaced that with plank. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. Uh, the uh, the uh, conky up in the top right, I usually eliminate that. I'm not, I'm not a, bi a big fan of that conky. <clears throat> now, the way I have it set up right now, everything looks really nice. Uh, so let's take a look at the release announcement. It's a new beta, mostly bug fixes and application updates, uh, polish, theme cohesion, browser enhancements, and bug squashing. Just two small software changes, Replaced Xsane Scanner and Flagita to provide a, with Flagita to provide a simpler interface, and some nice options for scanning while also integrating with GIMP. X Screensaver was replaced with Light Locker. Evidently, X Screensaver had been causing some conflicts. Um, LXLE now uses the LX Mixed theme and the elementary icon set. I changed it to my usual Fienza. Uh, 
Now, everything runs fine. The only thing I couldn't get working was um, Hulu streaming in Firefox. Was not able to get that working. I'm sure if I stuck with it a little while longer, I'd get that working. <clears throat> but I do have um, Amazon Prime and Netflix all set. Now, one of the things that I um, don't like about um, LXLE is the fact that they load too many games. Um, I, I find that most people don't use all of these games, but they're loaded up. The, their software selection is so extensive that <clears throat> it is a little bit bloated. Now, I loaded up the things that I usually use, but uh, they just have so much software loaded that it does tend to, uh, in my opinion, it's overkill. And so I would tone that down um, similar to what Peppermint OS 6 does. They basically give you things that you need, not a lot of things that you don't need, and let you add to the mix. If I were to pick a, um, a software or a distribution based on LXLE, um, you probably have Lubuntu, um, LXLE and Peppermint OS 6 of the Ubuntu flavors. There are a lot of um, distributions that give you the option of installing the LXLE desktop or LXDE desktop. Um, but for if you're going for LXDE desktop, right now of the three that I mentioned, I'd have to go with Peppermint OS 6. But Again, this is a beta, and perhaps uh, things will get toned down a little bit once the, um, the final comes out. But my advice to LXLE would be take out a lot of the games and a lot of the things that just not necessary. Um, that's just my opinion. Uh, it's a little bit on the bloated side with a lot of things that people don't use. Uh, especially the games. Uh, so, as I said, if you were heading towards the LXDE desktop environment, um, LXLE, Lubuntu, and LX, and uh, I'm sorry, Peppermint OS 6, I'd have to go with Peppermint OS 6 at this point. Um, but it, uh, LXLE is a very nice operating system. Um, Everything seems to run fine. I'm not having any delays or lagging. Like I say, everything is fine. Steam, play on Linux. The only thing I had trouble with was getting Hulu running, and I'm sure that's just a tweaking of configuration. So that's it for uh, LXLE, the new 1404.4 beta. Uh, guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.